Welcome to the final score. I'm Nick Walters. We could start the show with some Razorbacks basketball, but as fans know, they're in a slump. Let's not end your weekend by putting you in the dumps. So on a lighter note, let's talk Little Rock hoops. The Trojans have won seven straight. The latest being against their rival, Arkansas State. It went down to the wire, but Little Rock showed serious grit and held on for their 18th win on the year. It's the first win against the Red Wolves for second-year head coach Darrell Walker. The Trojans now have a winning streak against every Sun Belt team besides Georgia State. Little Rock holds a three-game lead atop the conference. They're clicking on all cylinders and at the perfect time. So let's take a deeper look into how they're doing it. It's almost hard to believe at this point, but Little Rock finished at last place in Sun Belt last year. But Daryl Walker is always quick to remind us they might wear the same uniform, but this is an entirely different team. They like winning. A lot of guys that were here with me last year are here this year, and we lost a lot of games last year, man. It wasn't fun, and uh, they like winning. They got that taste of winning. Uh, they believe in themselves. They know we have a bigger picture, and that's, we're just going to stay focused. I know everybody was talking about a rivalry week, and that's fine, and I'm not being funny or being cocky. Arkansas State, to me, it was another game on the schedule that we had to lock in and try to win the basketball game, and that's what we did. One key to the Trojans' success on both ends of the floor, size. Uh, when you have Root out there at 6'11", Nicola at 6'11", Ben Coupet at 6'7", and seven, six, seven. we got a lot of length out there when that 1-3-1 one, one zone, I thought it really bothered them. Another key for Little Rock can't be measured. Fight. They play hard. They really compete. We've been in a bunch of close games. We didn't, we didn't fold. I didn't expect my team to fold. And we made some shots. I thought Nicola made a bunch of big plays down the stretch. A name Coach Walker brought up multiple times after Arkansas State, Nicola March, and deservingly so. The foreign transfer sat out the first portion of the season, but he's back on the court and came up clutch on Saturday. Got him. Yeah, we are definitely. He's a, he's a hard worker. You know, he had some tough times, but like all of us, of course. But he finally found his rhythm, and he helped us a lot to get this win today. That's the yeah. OC in practice, so he really went out to it, and he, he was one of the big reasons why we won today. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while for him trying to incorporated himself back into a, a team that had won a bunch of games before he, you know, before he came back. And I don't know if he thought it was going to be easy when he came back, but it's not going to be easy. But this was a good sign for us. And like I told you before, hopefully he'll start playing well when we need him down the stretch. The Trojans MVP so far this season. Hey, 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 hey. Give it to Marquise Noel. He's averaging over 17 points a game and leads Sunbelt in free throw shooting. In fact, he may be MVP of the whole conference, at least according to the shirt he busted out on Saturday. I knew that if I got this shirt that it would draw a lot of eyes to it. This game, I really want to be aggressive, really show that people that I'm really going for the Sunbelt Player of the Year, but I'm still trying to win. But th this shirt makes me play more, more harder. I'm going to keep wearing this shirt until eventually I get the accolade. He's carried us basically the first 12 to 15 games of the season. He carried us. Uh, we had a lot of guys out. Uh, he carried us. Uh, carried us so much, I think I hurt his hamstring he played so many minutes. So, uh, do I think he's a player? Yeah, absolutely I do. We're, we're winning basketball games, and, and Marquise is a big part of that. Marquise is going to get shots because he's going to be out there 35 minutes. There's no sense of taking bad shots when you know you're going to get a bunch of shots anyway. That's still a process that he has to learn. And yeah, I'm going to have to statue him out the game sometime, and he's going to probably get some choice words said to him, but overall, his progression has really been great since last year, and it's still a process. He's just a sophomore now. Perhaps the biggest difference maker on Saturday wasn't even on the hardwood. Fans and students alike pack Jack Stevens Center, getting on their feet late. It's a sight to see for these Trojans. The great atmosphere of the fans was just unbelievable. It was unbelievable atmosphere. We knew there's going to be a lot of people in the gym from the first moment, so. It's a blessing to play the games like this, and this is what we live for, so we enjoy it. We thank them a lot, um, you know. Exactly. They, they, they helped us with this game, man. They helped us before. Um, we just can't do without them. Um, if if they're not there, we're dead, and we just appreciate the fans. Coming out, it was a great atmosphere, man. I, I, I just wish the fans would come out and do it like that every night. I think this team deserves it. Uh, they play hard. I, th I think they're entertaining to you guys, so a uh, fun team to watch. So hopefully they'll keep coming out and see us. 
Little Rock Faithful is full of energy, and the Jack is packed. We can't wait to see where this team goes. The Trojans play next at Texas State on Thursday. Coming up is more UALR sports, this time off the court and on the diamond. Sports director Wes Moore gives you a look at Trojan baseball ahead of opening weekend.